Uh, pardon me, Red, Trey, you both have huge matches tonight. Do you have a second to comment? No. Yeah, we do. So Candice LeRae has invoked her rematch clause in an Iron Woman match. Now, after everything you've been through, are you ready for your first NXT women's title defense? Well, considering I'll actually be able to see this time, I think I'm more than ready. Trey, you are going to face Velveteen Dream in the first ever No DQ Spotlight match, where in order to win, you must steal your opponent's finishing move. Now, how have you prepared for this unique stipulation? I haven't had to. I've used his purple Rainmaker before, but he's never used my finisher. And on top of that, I might have another trick or two up my sleeve, because you never know when you might need it. I might have taken you lightly in our last match because you were injured, but I won't make that mistake tonight. If I was able to beat two opponents with only one good eye, what do you think is gonna happen when I only have one opponent and my vision back? I think you'll be able to get a real good look at me standing over you with the title, back where it belongs. Sweet fanny pack. Thanks. I was kidding. Anyway, what were you talking about having a trick up your sleeve? Well, actually, it's more like a trick down my pants. That sounds incredibly creepy. Yeah, I hear it now. Uh, let me give you a sneak peek. Still creepy. Okay, I should rephrase. One of my tricks is I'm gonna wear a special outfit to get in Velveteen's head like he does to his opponents. There's three options I'm considering. Which one should I go with? Thanks for your help with that. I'm gonna need every little advantage I can get to defeat him. Look, it's Velveteen Trey! He's even got a fanny pack! We've seen Velveteen Dream wear unique outfits in an effort to get inside his opponent's heads, and now it appears Trey has followed a page from Velveteen's playbook. Uh, so what else is new? He's been stealing from Velveteen's playbook for the last month. That's how they ended up here tonight. It's a nice touch, but I think Trey's gonna need to do a whole lot more to rattle Velveteen. I don't know about that. He looks like he might be rattled right now. I'd chalk that up to pure annoyance more than anything else. How can you tell the difference? After years of putting up with you, I'm pretty much an expert on the subject. Well, the time for psychological warfare is over. Let's find out who will prevail in this unprecedented first ever spotlight match. This no disqualification spotlight match came about when Velveteen Dream felt Trey was, quote, stealing the spotlight from him when they were partners in the Dusty Rhodes Tag Classic. It puts both men in a unique situation. There are no pinfalls or submissions. The only way to win the match is by using your opponent's finishing move. Velveteen Dream might be unconventional, but he's also one of the most gifted athletes in sports entertainment. I'm sure he'll handle himself just fine under these conditions. He's got to find a way out of that corner. You know, for somebody who hasn't been in the business all that long, I'd say Velveteen Dream sure does have a high opinion of himself. It's almost as if he looks down at the rest of the roster. Boom, what impact! He continues to press forward. A man like that seems to have an endless store of energy. They get dangerous out here, especially when there are no countouts. To Michael's point about Velveteen Dream's disdain for the locker room, 
It's no secret that the superstar he detests the most are those who first made a name for themselves on the independent scene. Look at these two giving it. Velveteen Dream with the reversal. It's only a matter of time before he hits Trey's finisher. Where's Velveteen going? Oh no. Are those handcuffs? Not again. It appears we're going to have a repeat of what happened after the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic Final. And guys, keep in mind this match is no disqualification. So this is perfectly legal. It might be legal, but it's clear Velveteen Dream's priority isn't winning the match. It's injuring Trey, possibly even ending his career. Hey, this is the match Trey signed up for. He wanted the spotlight. Well, now he's got it. Wait a minute, what's Trey doing? He had a key hidden in his tights. He's unlocking the handcuffs and Velveteen Dream has no idea. This goes back to their very first encounter when Trey handcuffed himself to the ropes and Velveteen had a key. Somehow, Trey actually learned something. Velveteen still has no clue that Trey is free. Velveteen Dream. I never thought I'd see that happen. And now Trey with the steel chair. This is a huge turning point in this match. Trey has now gained complete control over Velveteen Dream. Oh. <laughs> Sent to the outside. Oh, man! A drop kick. Bad landing. If you ask me, guys, matches like this where there are essentially no rules are one giant free-for-all where absolutely anything can happen. Oh! Again! Doing some more damage here. Michael, that is so dangerous. This isn't where he wants to be, guys. He needs to get back inside that ring. And a big boot. He's executing on his plan perfectly. He's got a head of steam working. And now Trey and Velveteen Dream are brawling at ringside. What's Trey doing with that fanny pack? And Trey nails Velveteen Dream with it. Velveteen's out cold. What, what the heck was inside that thing? There's your answer. Real honorable, Trey. Well, you said it yourself. This match is no disqualification, so that was perfectly legal. I like the way you describe this match, Byron. It's one giant... Back now inside the ring. Don't expect a lot of mercy to be shown here. Finds a way to reverse. Man, what a slam. He's climbing the turnbuckle. Will this pay off? Looking for the f setting up again. Nani. The Rainmaker, DDT. Simply said, this is going to be a great match. Oh, dropped right across the neck. And you can see that Dream is looking overwhelmed. He'll think twice before entering another Extreme Rules match. It's almost bedtime for Velveteen Dream. He's going to need to get back in this. Boom, spikes him down. Ho, ho, ho. 
Double axe handle smash. Oh, able to counter. Now another reversal. Neither one of them are willing to give an inch here. He's going for it all. Incoming. Oh, and a double foot stop. He's been quickly taking control here. Not sure where he gets that energy, but he's looking good right now. Down with a power bomb. Going to the top high risk. Trying to go for it again. A couple of months ago, Trey hijacked an NXT broadcast desperate for the spotlight. Well, after this huge victory over Velveteen Dream, he's now earned it. I don't think it was his plan from the beginning, but it certainly worked out in his favor. Hold on, maybe Velveteen Dream isn't ready to concede the spotlight just yet. He's got that loaded fanny pack that Trey used earlier. What are we witnessing? Is this some kind of strange sign of respect from Velveteen Dream? It's almost like he's putting the championship around the Trey's waist. That was certainly bizarre, but nonetheless, a huge win for Trey tonight. The following contest is an Iron Woman match and is for the NXT Women's Championship. Introducing the champion from Punta Vedra Beach, Florida. She is the NXT Women's Champion, L. Big match here, guys, as the title will be on the line tonight. And the champ has looked dominant of late, but all it takes is one wrong move and that title could be going home with somebody else. Go ahead, Cole. It's Candice Wrestling. And introducing the challenger from Anaheim, California, Candice LeRae. You know, Candice is a professional baker, so I wonder if her opponents can smell what the LeRae is cooking. <laughs> oh, my God, Byron. Just what I think, you couldn't be any dumber. Tell me, guys, does she have a legitimate chance to win this match and walk out of here as a champion? Of course she does, Cole. I mean, it might be less than 1%, but yes, she has a chance of becoming champion here tonight. We're about to see which woman rules the landscape around here. Guys, in Red's short reign as NXT Women's Champion, she's already successfully defended her championship on several occasions, but never in a match like this. 
putting your title on the line in an Iron Woman match is essentially like defending it multiple times in one night with no break in between. It can be extremely taxing, to say the least. Kind of like having to do commentary with you, Saxton. Ouch. What a forearm. What a hurricanrana. Saw that one coming. And now that one's countered. That was impressive, Michael. Harsh impact. Not the oh. oh, God, that hurt. Oh, my goodness, crushing it. Goodness, this hurts. Oh! Defenseless in the corner now. Hold on, guys. This isn't good. Byron, I have to believe that Candace's opponent will need to do all she can to keep her tied to the mat, to keep the daredevil in Lorraine at bay. Yeah, Michael, it might be best to counter Lorraine's high flying style with mat based wrestling and submission holds. Kick right to the midsection. For the win to retain the championship! One, two, she got the shoulder up in time. She's still in this one. Ah, oh, Black Widow! Locked in tight. And she breaks free. I don't know how she did it, but that was impressive. Oh, look at that scoop slam! Another a one for good measure. Face buster. A bad place to be for the challenger. Her endurance is really getting tested here, guys. For her sake, let's hope she has some gas left in the tank for later. Oh, what a punch. She is just too bad. Got out of the way in a hurry. Not what she was looking for. Tough to catch. Cover by the champ. And another kick out. Gonna take more than that. This one's about the women's championship. And nothing means more to these women than that title. And a big right hand. Unloading. That is a great reversal. She better do something fast. She somehow breaks free, but you have to wonder how much damage was done. And scissors Ooh. take that. Oh, very nice. Kicks directly to the chest. Straight punch. Let me stunned here, guys. Oh, stun gun. DT. The champ to the top turnbuckle. Oh, my God. Moonsault. You see that height. Shoulders down. Championship on the line. New champion. Champion scores the ball. Guys, I've talked with superstars who've competed in Iron Man matches, and each and every one of them have said that there's almost no preparing for the grueling nature of this contest. Whoa, impressive. You can say that again. I never thought you'd break free from that one. There it is. Oh, nice. She's bringing the pressure on now. She's flipped the switch, and the light is on. Here we go, start the count. 
Anyone punches and Sasha's gonna have to take his shoes off the count. Oh man. Look at this. Snap suplex. Things are looking dire for Candice LeRae. She's tough, but maybe not tough enough to get the win here. to the outside, which will start the referee's count. Looking a little groggy. A little. Two. Snake eyes. Said, turn out the lights. The party's Three. over. Ooh. Got to wonder how this is going to end, Byron. It's not going to be good. Powerbomb planet. And she gets the fall late in the match. Wicked body shot. I'm on their shoulders. Your breath, I would guess. What are we gonna see here? Hung up on a second row. Climbing the rope. Look at this. Boom You see that height. Uh-oh. She just will not give up, Cole. Tough situation to be in right here. Attacking the core now. Yeah, without your core, Michael, you are essentially useless. Oh, no. I 
one for good measure. What a DDT! Wow! The champ to the top turnbuckle. Just carrying the opposition here. Oh, destroy your face. Is it fully locked in? She's got her where she wants her. Somehow, the challenger gets a fall. She lets it go. Did you ever stop to think that she might have something else planned here? Oh, no. She earns the big victory here tonight. It's wins like that that makes this girl such a force to be reckoned with here in the WWE. What a spectacular championship match it was, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for joining us.